This was the art that I was producing back in 2009. A lot of the work I was producing, I had no idea what I was doing. I was really sporadic, wanting to be a 3D modeler, a character designer, an animator, you name it, anything within the animation industry. Because I wanted to work so badly for these companies. But at the same time, when you don't have a focus on what you're doing, you make mediocre art. Stuff that's decent, but not hireable. And a lot of when you come on focus, it's mostly because you're worried. You know, are you going to be able to pay your bills? Are you going to be able to pay your student loans back? Do you need to move to a different part of the country in order to find work? How can you gain experience when you have no experience at all? Why will nobody hire me? And I think it, because animation, you're able to do everything and anything. It's really hard to press down what you really want to do. And for almost six years, I was focusing on what other people would like from my work rather than art that I would enjoy. Chuck Jones once said, every artist has a thousand bad drawings in them, and the only way to get rid of them is to draw them out. So I did. In 2015, I decided to draw and animate for my biggest fan, myself. I was working on Molly's Folly. And rather than just jumping into animation, I decided to really develop the characters and to really understand what they are about through single illustrations. And I also wanted to do was to really focus on making drawings that I would want to hang up on my own wall. And I really wanted to make each drawing the best that it can be. Did I fail? Absolutely. But I made sure that I took what I learned from those failures and continue on to the next drawing. I did not once become a perfectionist. But what I found by doing these, especially right early in the morning, was that I got I was able to accomplish other artwork that I wanted to do. I got I found more joy in animating again. I really just found the reason why I really love animating and what I really love to do and what I don't love to do. And this is the one thing that really surprised me was the fact that I actually have all these pieces up on my wall now. I never frame my work, but now I feel like I'm making art that I truly love. So for those out there, make art that you love. Don't worry about what other people think. Make art for your biggest fan, which is yourself. Hey creatives, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it inspired you in a way that will allow you to kind of keep going with your drawings. You know, it's, it's tough looking at your own work and especially if you're looking at work that you used to do like a decade ago and you're like i don't want to show that to anybody but i also the reason why i did it was because i want to let you guys know that you know it takes time so one thing i wanted to add to was how my change of mindset has affected my career as an artist i find that a lot more people are more engaged with the work I'm developing. It's not just a rat race of like, oh my God, this is trending right now. I need to make artwork that's trending. Uh, it's more of a, <laughs> sorry. Uh, it's more of a natural like excitement for the work and I find people are talking more. And as far as clients tells is, I feel like they're a little more engaged with the work because a lot of the work I'm producing is me. 
you know, it's stuff that I find funny or I find in- interesting. And I've always found that if I'm the one laughing and enjoying the work, then more likely everyone else is too. So I would just want to throw that out there for you guys. But I do have a question for you guys. What is going to be your focus? What's the thing that you want to focus on this year? Are you going to be focusing on trying to improve your drawings? Are you focusing on just making, like I did, like making each sketchbook page a art piece on itself? Or is it something completely different? Let me know in the comments. I want to start a dialogue with you guys. I want to build this community up and really kind of support each other on everybody's journey. So until next time, guys, I'll catch you later.